Hello YouTube, it's Michelle, and it's Friday evening, it's about 8 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, and I'm here in the studio. I was going to have to share the car this evening, but my 17-year-old decided that she wasn't going to um, go to the parties, that uh, there was a birthday party tonight, and she decided that she wasn't feeling well. So I decided to stay here at the office slash in my basement studio and do a Finish It Friday share. So let's talk about the saga of the 6x9 birdie napkin mailers that have been on my uh, to-do list, my projects half done PhD list for a while. I started out with four that had been modged podged uh, with the birdie napkin that were six by nine. And then I took the larger size, I think it's 10 by 12, 10 by 14. Anyway, modge podged it and then split it so that I created two out of it. So that was a total of six, the four six by nines and then the one that was divided by two. One of those mailers uh, flew away and went to New York, a fellow scrapper, crafter, uh, Lilibet, had asked if she could have one. So that flew away, that was one, leaving me with five to complete. So let's see where we are on the... Finish It Friday, 6x9, Birdie, Mailer Envelope Journals. Alrighty. So we started out, as you remember, the first one I made was this one here. Uh, this is the one that I made. This was one of my first bee dangles and made it. And all of the uh, papers and things uh, pretty much went with this teal ribbon that I got from the dollar store. So I shared about that one. So there's one. The next one I completed was this one, my little golden birdie. And I even included my first book charm dangle on this one. And this was half of that, uh, the one that was large, the one large envelope that I cut. Then I did the second half of the larger envelope and I created kind of like a, it's part journal, part fedori that I shared using a lot of um, ephemeras, vintage garden, freebies, as well as the um, her latest, one of her latest digital downloads. So that's number three. While I was sick last week, I finished this one. And so let me show you. So again, it's the 6 by 9 mailer. And it's got the little birdie napkin that's been modged, podged onto the 6x9 envelope. Woo, sorry. My rigged iPad just fell. Oh, sorry about that. Hope I didn't make anybody sick. So here is the front cover. I took a the Sizzix birdcage die and I kind of patinaed it and adhered that on to the front cover with some silk rosettes that have a little tool behind them and then thought that this pretty tool one here rose was pretty. Uh, the closure is real simple. This is organza ribbon and what I did was in the flap or the lip of the envelope I created a hole an opening and so the flap comes around the back here and there's a swivel clasp and so you swivel that 
there's some decorative lace it opens up and then you just pull the ribbon out and so there's a piece in the front and a piece in the back and that's what ties so let's open it up and I'll show you what I've done there is lace trim on the um, inside pocket and then out of craft paper I created this pocket with uh, the side places for tags and I've put in a few ephemeris vintage garden freebies and on the backs of both tags there are these were index cards that have been uh, coffee dyed and so they're in there see this one pretty played around with my sewing machine got it out and actually created this pocket holder so when you open on the other side here's a tuck spot here we've got a book page and some ephemera and another EVG freebie. Again, it's been backed with coffee dyed paper. I actually printed these on photo paper so they've got the shine. So here's a spray doily. Some coffee stained uh, graph paper and there's some stamping on it. That's a Prima stamp. There's a flourish stamp here. Here's a piece of baker's paper, and it just says, just a creative type of girl stamped there. Celebrates on the back. Here's a piece of parchment paper that was coffee dyed. Another piece of that graph paper. Here's another piece of the baker's paper. This is a tag. This is a Fimmer's Vintage Garden as well, and there's a tuck spot in there. A little stamping. Take time to enjoy the simple things in life. More parchment paper. Graph paper. On this piece of the baker paper or the um, craft Pardon me, excuse me. I have a book page here and some washi. And the um, book page is only adhered on a couple of sides. So it makes a pocket up top. And there's a coffee stain tag there. Excuse me. So sorry. I'm in the basement. So it's kind of chilly. Uh, some stamping. This is a party bag. And there's a floral collage. This has uh, tattered florals, uh, the die cut uh, coffee filters that have been coffee stained and just a piece of ephemera on top of it. And inside here's another ephemera's vintage garden freebie. Um, that paper. And you flip on this side. Uh, and this is the Whimsy collection. But these were freebies that came off the um, the site and so here's a little tuck spot here a doily here's a little tag made of coffee stained paper so there's that this is an envelope that's been punched there's some birds on the wire those have been coffee stained as well there's the middle there's the center of the signature just a little washi on the back of there um, on the other side of that party envelope, there is a tuck spot here that's been created out of some doilies and a little rosette. And on the back, here's a butterfly that's been fussy cut. Look, you can tell I've been inking. Look at my hand, sorry. There's a little tuck spot there. Right here, we have a little stamping. Just says, unlock your dreams and explore your new reality. Graph paper. It's got a little stamping at the top. Another piece of parchment paper. Here's another piece of that craft paper. It says, I'm going to make everything around me beautiful. That will be my life. 
piece there. Uh, kick up your heels. More graph paper. Parchment paper. Here is the back side, and there are some dandelion die cuts. A little stamping. More graph paper. Doily. Here, created a floral tuck spot. Another EVG freebie. It's been distressed. Then on the side, just the doily and some washi. And then on the back cover, just a little organza bag to put some ephemera, some memorabilia. A little bow to tie it off. So that is number four. So over here, I'm going to pan to the side and put my little picture up there. And here is the last mailer. Is that birdie again? So the only thing that's done is I kind of tucked in. It's got the pocket here. But that is it. Oops. That bird is flying upside down. <laughs> Okay, and here are some of the things that are going to go inside. So I've got a couple of doilies. I've got another one of those um, pocket inserts that I've uh, sewn and created already. Uh, more of the parchment paper. I've got graph paper. I've got spritzed paper file folders, etc, etc. So, my goal is to create a signature out of this pile, put it in here and come up with a closure, and do a show before the evening's out. So, wish me luck. We'll see you in a few.